Hey guys, what's up? My name is Art and welcome back to a little rant that I just encountered today. Now, you wouldn't believe this. Another person claiming censorship on social media. <clears throat> Another person claiming censorship on social media. <clears throat> Okay, let me see. Let me let me let me explain something to you guys. And maybe you kind of you maybe you know it, and maybe you don't really realize it. Right now, you're watching this video on YouTube. Okay, YouTube at any time can go to any one of my videos and say, "Hey, guess what? This violates our this violates our principles." And guess what? Video gone. I did that. I did that. I did it once. And uh, a couple weeks ago, I did a vi video in the car talking about something. And I said something, which I'm not going to say in order to keep this video up. I posted, some people responded to it, some people, but good 20 to 30 people, good about 20 to 30 people watched it. And about 11 o'clock at night, Google contacts me and says, your video on this, it violates our principles on certain policies which I'm not going to mention so we took it down I got engagement with that video I had some engagement with that video. a lot of people was watching this is one of the very few few videos that I did that a lot of people was actually watching but you took it down now funny thing is at 11 o'clock at night I was kind of you know, I was kind of ticked I was very ticked I was like well, how dare do you two do this what I said pretty much was factual pretty much except for certain things if you look at the wording of what i said and you look at the guidelines that perceive what I, about what i said you could come to the same conclusion but anyway same kind of scenario but so this happened on twitter so what happened is a uh, retired army captain sam brown he got injured in Afghanistan, burnt up. Okay, and that's fine. I have nothing against that. You served your country, and you got hurt for it. Okay, not a problem. What happened was, from the, from the clip that I saw this morning, and I did a little research, on the 4th of July, he, he showed a picture of him saluting. Okay? It says uh, something about freedom, America. Freedom isn't free, you know, whatever. Something to that effect. Um, I'm trying. To, also, reading a little bit more about this a little bit. But the thing is, is that you know, they showed on the Fox News clip. They showed the tweet. Now, to me, I don't see anything wrong with that tweet. I really don't. It got it, it went viral and it retweeted and all sorts of stuff. Okay, if you understand, if you have Twitter, you understand how Twitter works. I have Twitter, and I understand how that works. And then all of a sudden, they contacted them and said, "We're going to censor this video. We're going to censor this post." They didn't take it down. They just censored. They just put something that may contain sensitive material. May contain sensitive material. Okay, because I see this on Facebook all the time. I see this on Facebook a lot. This video, this picture might be graphic, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Here's the funny thing is, who the fuck cares? People are going to click on it anyway. So he was like, what is he, what is he censoring? He said, this is unacceptable. No matter why they censor it, it's unacceptable. And the first thing I thought about this is say, did you contact Twitter to, figure, to find out why they censored this? Did you contact them? Did someone report you? Did someone report you? If someone reported you, then I could see them censoring, finding out and censoring it. Yeah, if someone reported you. But the question is, is what did did you contact Twitter and all that? No, what he may have did, but he didn't he didn't mention that he contacted Twitter. He just said they censored my stuff and he just went off on a rampage. I did not see on the clip where he said that I contacted Twitter. Try to get an answer. 
So then, you know what he says? They must have censored me because I'm running against a Democrat in an a upcoming election. That's why they censored me. Because they're censoring all, all conservative viewpoints. And that's when I kind of lost it. That's when I kind of lost it. I'm like... They censored you because you're running against a Democrat. Okay. Considering that Twitter shows porn clips. Uh, no, someone, I think some, me personally, I think someone just reported you and they said it was offensive. But then again, you got to think, it's, Twitter's an American company, but it's global. Maybe someone in a different country saw that and probably took offense and reported you to Twitter. Maybe that was the case. Who knows? I'm reading this, I'm reading this interview, not interview, I'm reading this thing from Newsmax, okay, which is a conservative-leaning place. Everybody knows that, which is fine. I have no care. I don't care. But then again, I don't see anywhere in this article where they try to figure out why it was censored. I don't see it. I just see, technically, what happens, I see bitch, 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 mole. Now, the, the post is not post wasn't taken down. It was just censored. They just slapped the label on it. And you just press the label and you watch it. So, I mean, it's not like they took it down. Like my video, not like not like, like YouTube took down my video. And I looked up and I said, you know what? Let me protest this. Let me protest this. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it just stopped for me. I said, let me protest it. Then I thought about it. What is there for, I mean, could I protest it? And I possibly could win it because of the wording. And once I show you proof and all this other stuff, the wording, okay, that's fine. I could have done that. But I looked up and I said, you know, it's not worth my damn time. It's not worth my time doing all that. This guy ran to news outlets. And, and But then again, you run to news outlets, what happened? It brings attention to yourself. It brings attention to yourself. So now what happens? You got all these people tugging on the heartstrings like, oh my God, this, this American event has been censored by Twitter. I'm looking around like, really? Did you, I mean, like I said before, did you try to contact Twitter? Never in this video. I might have missed, not tell you, too, I might have missed it. So if you saw this clip, let me know if I missed that if you try to contact Twitter. Or you try to write, did you email Twitter? Did you write Twitter? Did you call Twitter to figure out why? It, if I missed that, let me know down below. But if I, but if, if you see the same clip that I did, it's on Fox News. If you see that same clip and did he mention anything when he tried to rectify the situation or try to get an explanation for it? And if they, if he did and they stonewalled him and didn't give him an answer, then I could understand him trying to say that. <clears throat> I mean, to tell you the truth, Years ago, there was this guy named, um, oh my gosh, what was his name? He was a bit, now here's the funny thing is, when I say this person's conservative, there's a reason why I say that, because this guy says, I vote for Trump, we believe, I'm, I'm part of the conservative party, I'm a hardcore Republican, uh, and the funny thing was is that uh, he was saying on Twitter, he was saying this outrageous stuff. Super outrageous things. Out, this was before when Trump got elected. And even afterwards. He even got... The funny thing is he got in trouble. And the, I forgot the guy's name. But the funny thing is the name would come to me sooner or later. But what happened was he got in trouble. He got in trouble for, you know, he's an investment. His fam, Him and his family are investment brokers or whatever. He did something shady. He's been indicted. He's been investigated for that. And the funny thing is, I lo I read some of his I read a lot of his tweets back in the day. And then a lot of times when I said my viewpoint, of course, all the conservative party jumped on me. If I say something and I get more than thirty to forty hearts or likes and retweets of what I said that contradicts him, then all the conservative party squad came down on me. And I'll just and I and I just look and I just laugh because I'm sitting right here like, dude, why don't you think? But then again, your mind thinks 
everybody minds things differently. I can say that, but in truth, everybody minds things differently. But in certain, but this guy, he not this guy, but this guy who I can't think remember the name. He uh, he tried to cold call people and fraudulently try to get them not to vote, get them not to vote for Biden, and he got caught. <clears throat> Yeah, that's kind of shady. Another person, her name was Laura. I, now, the reason why I remember her name because her name is Laura Loomer because it's LL. She will say some outrageous things. She supposedly went to... Even though I know she didn't really do this, it had to be staged because you don't go up to Hillary Clinton's house and try to bang on the door and ask for an interview and talk to her. Because she has guards, dude. She has, so, she has Secret Service and stuff like that. And I'm like, really? <laughs> okay. But she says something outrageous. So she got banned from Twitter and stuff like that. Trump got banned from Twitter because, you know, some of the stuff he said just, I mean, because I see the retweets of people, he, he tweets some stuff. And I see a lot of people retweet it. And I'm reading it. And I was like, this is so off the wall crazy. What the hell is this going on here? What the hell? This don't make sense. Why are you tweeting this? This is, but you know, hey. Well, we all know why he got banned from these social medias. Okay, some people say you're silencing conservative viewpoints. Okay, if that was the case, then here's a problem. Just like this video right here is on a social media site called YouTube, which is owned by Google. They have the right to strip any video, edit it censor it whatever for example when i do a music review guess what they copyright claim it i copyright claim it because of you know laws saying that you can't just play someone's music and broadcast it even though bars do it stadiums do it do they have the license to do it probably not but they do but the thing is that, you know, a lot of times when someone said they're censoring me because of my view, my political viewpoints, nine times out of ten, it's probably not your political viewpoint. It's probably something that you said before or what you've done. Or someone just reported you. And they just said, okay, because they reported. I mean, hell, they could have just, they could have reported him. They could have just censored him because of his, you know, because he's burnt, because his face is scarred. Maybe that was the reason. But until you contact him, you don't know. But like, for example, YouTube took and down, taking down my video. I'm like, okay, no big deal. I can always make another one. Not a problem. I did a video before. I remember I did a video years ago. About, no, almost a year ago. And I said a one word. And they took down that video because I said one single word. You know what I did? I just did another video. I did the same video, just edited out the word. Just... Not say the word. Went through. But anyway. Let me know down below what you think about Twitter, Facebook, and them censoring people of conservative viewpoints. Is it because of the fact that they're conservatives? Or is it because they said or does something wacky? Maybe maybe it's some or maybe someone just reported them for whatever reason. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. If you didn't like it. Like, comment, subscribe, leave me a message down below with the ugly guy, yeah, about what you think, and uh, I'll catch you in the next rant.